This is Nathan Mang, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. We just got done with Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, y'all. Today, I am doing a little bit of work to finish up deer camp, and I'm gonna show you the grand tour right now. I might end up putting a decoy out just to see if anything will come up to it. I still got some doe tags. I built this two years ago. I got the doe decoy out. Fire up the buddy heater here. Man, it is cold. It is cold. It is below freezing. I just got in deer camp. I just turned the buddy heater on high. I'm gonna finish up this camo. We got snow yesterday. We didn't have any snow and it wasn't nearly as cold, but I'm letting deer camp here warm up. This is the two year update. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. This deer camp is a 12 by 12. It's elevated somewhere around 10 and a half to 11 foot. This deer camp sits close to public hunting ground. It's got a pond on it, close to public access lake. It's not just for hunting this out here. Say if I wanna go hunt some of that public ground, I could stay the night here. Up here, we just got a shelf of deer products and everything. Then down here, we got the propane stove. This box here, and it has my cast iron, some salt, pepper, seasoning, that type of stuff for cooking. Got some field dressing kit, full-size game bag if you need. Got some toe warmers, some hand warmers, the old vintage taxidermy, hang your coats, hang your bow, whatever you want on there. And we got a little safe here so you can store your weaponry in here and whatever, some food and whatnot. All that white that you see down below, that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna get that done and if a doe comes out to the field while I'm out here, it's go time. My bow's at the ready. So this is deer camp two years later. It's looking more, more homey, more cabin-y. You can find these camo panels at Walmart or on Amazon. I'll leave some links down. My tall tines buck, which I'll leave a link above, called him in with this extinguisher. He was a few hundred yards down that ravine. I got him out of the tree stand. But when I first seen tall tines, it was right here, right in this corner, about where my finger is. I had these curtains all the way closed and I just moved it slightly and we locked eyes. And he didn't spook, but he did turn around and head back down into that ravine. I ended up getting my target buck. So if you want to check him out, this is a homemade deer camera arm that I made a long time ago and it screws in right there, but it really does work. We got the old talking bug, animated bug. He sings like Willie Nelson songs and stuff. This is the urinal. It's an upside down jug attached to a PVC pipe that goes into the ground, buried in a bed of rock inside of a five gallon bucket that's got holes. It works great. If you have to go number two, you come over here. There's kitty litter in there. You're ready to go. So with this setup, you can cook, you can eat, you can sleep. You can go number one, go number two. This is a trash can. Normally it has a trash bag in it, but it obviously doesn't. There's your deed wipes in case you got to go number two. That package is empty we'll have to pick some up at walmart these are two cots you'll just pull it out unfold it sleeping bag down good to go i'll pull it out and show you and then you got the mobile crapper you can crap outside if you want i'm gonna set up the cot for the night so i stack the chairs over here i use this blue cot these are pretty slick you can actually get these on amazon i believe they just unfold the legs just unfold and there you have it. So now I'm gonna pull down one of these cold weather sleeping bags. These are Coleman sleeping bags. It kind of rolls into itself. Kind of create like a duffel bag. There we go. I'm ready to sleep. And I done forgot my pillow. This thing's so thick I could double it up and use it for my pillow, I forgot. <sighs> night, night. All right. Got the buddy heater right here. Snug like a bug in a rug over here. Snug like a bug in a rug. I am going to be adding a hot tent stove over to this corner back here as an addition to, you know, propane buddy heater that I already have in here. We're surrounded by woods, so almost free firewood. 
you know, you gotta do the work for it. Nothing beats wood heat, in my opinion. I'll be in here, t-shirt, snow outside, y'all. Got the little Beards of Bose table going on here. Got my water, got my koozie to keep my water cold, but trying to keep it warm. <laughs> this is good for charging your phone. It's a solar charger, it's a Swiss tech, and this is a wireless charger for your cell phone. This takes a long time to charge up, but it will charge your phone multiple times. Oh man, this deer hunting is hard. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, guys. I tagged out in a t-shirt and Crocs. I'm not complaining or else I'd be out there in them tree stands freezing my bones off. But I just want to get a doe, one last doe, and I'll be done for the season. Here I am staying nice and toasty. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mainly when I'm sitting in here hunting this back field, this is my view. And deer usually come in right straight out in front. Got my decoy. Let's see what happens. Beards and bows out.